वेलकम टू द प्रोजेक्ट डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ डीसी मोटर स्पीड एंड डायरेक्शन कंट्रोलिंग बाय यूजिंग मोबाइल फोन एप्लीकेशन थ्रू आईओटी सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सेंड द कमांड्स टू कंट्रोल द स्पीड एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डीसी मोटर व्हिच इज ऑपरेटिंग वोल्टेज ऑफ 9 वोल्ट्स थ्रू दिस L293D मोटर ड्राइवर द कमांड्स विल बी रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम द आईओटी एप्लीकेशन SSH and that will be received by this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module so which was interfaced at the B0 B1 pin of our PIC 16F73 microcontroller and based on that commands we are going to control the speed of the DC motor from the C2 pin and the direction of the DC motor from C6 C7 pins so controller can't drive the 9 volt DC motor directly that's why we are using a driver here that is L293D motor driver so here we can see the three pins are connected over here so in that two pins for direction controlling one pin to control the speed so l293 motor driver so the main purpose of this one is if you want to change the direction of the dc motor we need to change the polarity so controller can't change the polarity directly that's why we are using here l293d which has the inbuilt h bridge circuits so using h bridge circuit only we can change the direction and after the hp circuit there is a one transistor inside this ic from the transistor we are going to control the speed so using one l293 motor driver we can control the two dc motors speed and direction so this side so motor 2 and this side motor 1 so we are in our project we are demonstrating with only motor 1 that's why we have connected over here only and it will getting power supply from this 9 volts battery and on this board we can see the 7805 regulator this is the 7805 regulator which will take greater than 5 volts and provide us the constant 5 volts so that is operating voltage for our l293d motor driver so coming to the pic microcontroller so on this motherboard we can see three major components one is the reset switch to restart the microcontroller and this steel plated one is a crystal oscillator which will provide us the 20 megahertz of clock frequency to the controller so the main purpose of this oscillating frequency is so we have provided the set of instructions inside the microcontroller in embedded c language so that is controlling the dc motor speed and based on the input from the esp8266 means read the input control the output so these instructions needed clock pulse one instruction one pulse so controller executing 20 mega instructions per second as we are providing 20 mega clock pulse per second and the next are microcontroller that is the main component which is taking input and controlling the output so this led is a power status led indication and this particular green led will blinks whenever the command received from the esp8266 wifi module so let us see the demonstration so from this adapter we are going to provide the 5 volts dc output so that is the operating voltage for our wifi module and our microcontroller so it will take 230 volts ac input so it has the inbuilt regulated power supply section so that is the four stages transformation to step down rectification to convert ac to pulsating dc and filter to remove the pulses to get the pure dc voltage and regulator to provide us a 5 volts constant dc output So after that we'll get the DC. So actually before uh, switch on the power supply, we need to do some initial steps in our phone. So for that go to hotspot settings in your phone. First of all, go to hotspot settings in your phone and change the hotspot name to Project Five Three Six Nine. So set up the hotspot Project Five Three Six Nine without any space, without any capital letter, and the password should be one two three four five six seven eight nine. and select the ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz mm -hmm. after enable the hotspots the next step is install application one is a network analyzer application this is the play store application and the next is juice application so after installation these two now on the power supply to the kitch so when we on go to hotspot settings you can check you can check one device is connected here so after that go to network analyzer application go to options do lan scan do the scan so there we get the ip address of our project right so this ip address of our project copy this copy and now go to juice ssh so if you executing the project second time there we can see our application got the ip address in the first time go to manage click on plus and here three changes more one is a type telnet address 
paste the address which we got from the network analyzer application third is port number 8080 so three changes type telnet ip address from the network analyzer application and a port 8080 now okay and right now it's connected so there we can see welcome to the project may welcome message on the lcd so to increase the font size just volume up we can increase that now initially we need to set the direction the forward backward f b and speed up speed down u d small letters only so f right i set the direction and now we need to connect the 9 volts battery so as of now there is zero speed means low voltage speed so enter u so just u enter so you can keep on enter u till the motor rotates because initially it will need more power to start so when we are sending the characters we can see the light is blinking over here so means it's showing the status of the instruction executed till how much so when you keep on sending once the blinking is slow down means blinking was stops right there is no indication from this led means it was reaches the maximum speed so now if you enter the u also it can't increase the speed is a maximum speed for the dc motor so now we can change the direction as of now in the forward mode and go to the backward right so backward rotation again forward rotation so now i can decrease the speed so for decreasing also go to the zero least one so but you can check how much of speed you want so based on your requirement we can set the speed for the dc motor by sending the d command all are small letters so now stop over there so it's keep on rotation with the low speed so i'm repeating that forward f backward b up down u d all are small letters just type that letter and enter so then we can control that right okay